Hi, let's see how can we design a digital clock in React JS. So to design that we need an a JavaScript file. So I've created it using uh, uh, the name clock.js. You can give any name of your choice. It will be relevant if you can give the uh, relevant name to use it. Okay, so clock.js I've created for giving some CSS. I've created clock.css file and we need to import the clock.js file into the app.js to use it. And to use there, we need to export this file from here. So let's export this file from here. So I will use this shortcut to create this boiler template. Definitely you can use this using installing an extension. I've already told you about that. How can you install all these things? So now we need to import this using uh, we have exported it here. We need to import this in our app.js file. So I already imported it. If you do not know how to do this thing, so you need to clear your component basics first and already I have covered that thing. So go to the description and watch my React.js course if you have any kind of issue. Now let's check our component is working or not. So I will write down here just h1 tag and I will write down here time or let's say hello anything you can write down here if we are getting it here definitely this is working if you are not getting that means your component is not linked or it might have some any other issue please check that and fix it okay so what we can do to get the current time here let define a variable here time so in javascript we have already provided date so what we can do, we just need to write down new date and we can do here like to local string, uh, local time string here. And that's it. This is the logic what we need to do here. And what I can do if I write down here time like this in JSX, so you will be able to see the time current time which is here 6 37 and 42 but it, you, you can say that it's not working anymore means it is uh, becoming constant now here it gives the current time but it is not incrementing like 42 43 like how could we do that so we get just time here so there is a concept of use state we will use an use state here and then we will use and set interval time so if you are not getting that just keep watching and definitely will understand what i mean to do that so first now let's say import use state so what i can do use state and uh, like this so write down const so i will write down current time and set current time like this okay we need to import this huge state so what i can do i can import it easily from react so uh, if your your shortcuts are not working then definitely you should write down import huge state from react and you can do this okay huge state is not defined i have defined it now so just refresh the page if you got any error so we get the time back here so what i can do i can pass the time here inside the huge state just pass time now what we can do what we can do we need to get here time but if we write down current time current time here Oh, sorry current time definitely we should get current time here refresh the page this might be a problem in react application sometimes like hot reloading okay so current time we are getting but still it's not updating now what logic we can perform here so give me just a minute the logic will be simple for example write down like const update time like this i have write down let's create and fetter of function like this or in that again let's write down let time 
is equal to new basically we need to copy that same line so just copy it from here to use further here just copy paste and now what we can do set current time okay we need to set current time here and inside it what we can pass we can pass the time okay that's fine now main thing how this time will continue so for that set interval set interval like this or in that we need to pass update time and we can pass like thousand so you can see that now this time is working fine so it's getting incremented okay so now what we can do it's not looking good let's give some css to it to work or uh, to look cool main thing of the logic that's done till here now uh, to in order to work css we need to import it import css from clock.css file okay so we will write down our css here but before that we need to give some classes to uh, uh to this application so let's give a class name to this division so that will be class name and uh, let's give clock this is the class name which i want to give it and i will style this clock inside the my clock uh, uh really sorry that in clock.css we will design it so just write down dot clock css is easy let's give it an width of uh, let's say 95 of uh, view width and give some height of 95 of uh, view height okay so let's give some overflow hidden overflow that should be hidden okay now dot clock or dot clock or h1 we will style the h1 now so let's refresh if it is not refreshing automatically okay now we will style our h1 tag so give border so that we can see a border around it of two pixel solid or uh, let's say um burl wood burly wood just in color you can give any color of your choice and let's give some width of 250 pixel to it i think that will be good width of 250 pixel okay now we need to give some margin also so margin will be 40 of uh, view height i think it will be fine and auto zero pixel and auto okay so this is good now we need to give border radius border radius 15 pixel will be fine hot reloading problem in react happening here so refresh it and let's see how it is looking here okay now we need to give some padding so that it can look good here 10 pixel and zero background color will be let's say uh corn silk it will be looking good and box shadow rgba i will give it it will be zero and zero this will also be zero and this will be 0 0.35 okay and after that 0 pixel 5 pixel and 15 pixel looking cool refresh once and see how this is looking okay good uh, this is not coming in the center 
so what i did here text line center we need to write down it in clock and not in h1 tag so this text will be in center now what i can do write down just h1 to give some more style to this font font family we can write down here this and give some color it to sandy brown i think that will be good in look refresh it okay so you can see that this is the current time which we are getting here and i think with shadow and all these things looking fine and you can change it more you can make it more creative if you want so this is a simple application which we can design in react.js in just a few minutes definitely the learning thing will be here like how this date uh, thing working and how we are working with react youth state because this is the main concept of learning youth state how can we use youth state in react projects right so very simple if you have any doubt you can ask me in the for the comment or directly you can contact me on linkedin if you have any doubt definitely students watch videos and they get doubts and i solve them and if you are not getting doubt then still comment that you have done this in first go okay thanks for watching and keep watching definitely if you want to learn web development you should follow this channel and there is more surprise in 2022 we will come up with uh to share here on youtube channel thank you thank you very much